Should you be using benchmarking tools in order to see whether or not your e-commerce brand actually compares and stands a chance against similar brands in your industry? Well, now many tools out there are popping off talking about benchmarks, like Triple Well has benchmarks now. Shopify through audiences also shows you benchmarks. But more importantly, I've came across this tool called Veros, which I wanna show you in this video that only focuses on benchmarking your brand against average brands in your industry. If you're new to the channel, you don't yet know who I am. My name is Justin and I'm the founder of FitAdvertising.com, an online marketing growth firm specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. And with that said, we've spent over $9.6 million in the last 12 months and are on track to spend over $10 million on ads in the upcoming year alone. So with this said, let's get straight into today's video. So Veros. Veros is a tool, and again, thanks a lot. Shout out to one of my students in our private community who put me on to this tool. I literally did not know of it at all. Apparently, it was popping off mostly last year. Um, he got it recommended through another coach uh, he took a little earlier, but said that it was interesting and that I should be looking into it. So I did, essentially, I did. I got their free trial, and let me show you what it looks like. So what do you get? Well. First and foremost, whenever you install it, I'll actually switch right here to uh, the dashboard view because I think it shows you a little bit more things. You can connect to Veros, any ad platform, counting also Google Analytics and your Shopify platform to you on there. And it benchmarks your brand against similar brands. How does it do that? Well, on the left hand bar right here, number one, you can pick the vertical. So I'm on the free plan, so I'm quite limited by the amount of verticals I have. So I can just pick like the overarching verticals like fashion here, which kind of compares against any fashion brand. But you could compare to specific fashion types, an example, so like dresses, and you can even go to like woman's apparel as an example, or woman's clothing, right? So you could go a step down here in terms of how precise you want the comparison to be. So that's one thing. The second thing that it uses here is the overall amount of total ad spend monthly for the brand. So this is across all channels, so all marketing spend monthly, which ad spend you want to benchmark. So here, this client, as an example, I'm showing you is with the zero to 10K benchmark. So I just put it right there. Then AOV also. So what AOV range do I want to look? into you. And the further I refine this, the closer I am to an actual competitor. And now for any channel that you see above. So Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads, Google analytics for LinkedIn ads, and for Shopify, I'll see every metric about each of these channels. And they'll compare me. So they'll compare my companies, you can see right here in purple to the lowest performers to the medium and to the highest performers of my cohort. So that said, it just helps you know how you're doing. Now, I will preface this by saying one thing, if you only spend your time comparing yourself against the average, you'll never be able to beat the average. Like you'll always be stuck at the average, if that makes sense. And also great brands weren't built by comparison. They were built by looking into their own lane, kind of having tunnel vision and just building out their vision. So that, that's just what I'm going to say right here. I don't think somebody should just spend all their time comparing, but where I see a use case for this one for agencies in order to manage and mitigate client expectations, because you can see right here industry trends, which is great. And I think that applies to brands too, right? If I'm a brand owner, I look at it this right here. I can see, well, look, Facebook has been really down in the last seven days. Is it just me, right? Have you ever asked yourself a question like this? So if you did, Veros is a great tool for you, right? If you're wondering how you're comparing against other brands in your industry, or if it's just you that's experiencing a downturn in ad performances, well, look it up because you would see it right here, right? You would see the lowest performers or the median essentially more specifically in the last week as an example, and you'd see how you're benchmarking against that median. So it helps you get security in your advertising data, knowing how you're comparing against the average, okay? That that said, it also, I think, helps you as an agency, which is what I was about to say earlier, to just manage client expectations, right? Somebody comes on board, I want to get 7x ROAS. Well, look, the highest performers in your space actually get 3x ROAS. You really want to go 2.5 times above the average person in your industry or the highest performer in your industry? That's unlikely. Let's let's look at what we can do here, right? So it's a good way to manage ex overall expectations from an agency standpoint. Now, let's look into it, right? What do you see right here? Well, you would see yellow, you would see green, and you would see red. So yellow means you're in the average, right? It, yellow is quite vague. I'll show you in a second that spectrum. They show you the full spectrum of like how within the average you are. You would see green, which means you're above average. And you would see CTR, which uh, when I say, by the way, green, above average is actually more so highest performers. So you're way above average. Red is your way below average, essentially within this. And sometimes, again, we got to be careful. I'll show you that in a second, but like here's CTR 1.2% says you're below. You look at the highest performers, 1.7%. It's not a dramatic change, let's say in that metric, right? So the, the gap is quite tight, all right? So looking into this client as an example, right? For the time period that I have selected, I can see that this client as an example, ROAS, they're within the average, that about 3.19 according to the app platform. Great, 
right? You can see the median is 2.53. The highest performance are at 5.9 or somewhere in the middle. Awesome. They're actually in above average. They're between average and highest performers. Again, great to discuss on a call potentially with, with the brand or if you're a brand owner, once again, just to see how well you're doing right now, cost per purchase. So CPA right here. Again, we can kind of see where we're at. So median is 48. We're again, slightly above average. Now CPM, we're actually, so uh, at 4.03, we're way, 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 way above the average right here, right? We're way above the highest performance right there. So it means we're doing really good in terms of CPM. So Facebook likes us essentially, if that makes sense. Now CTR. All right. It says the median is about 1% right here. Lowest performance are about 1.4. So all right, look, we're below the lowest performance right there. Good. We're at 1.2%. We know we could do better slightly creative wise cost per click conversion rate, uh, spend and AOV. That's one big thing actually we flagged at a client from that analysis. The most pressing issue we found was definitely conversion rate. We already knew that from Shopify. We already knew that their conversion rate wasn't good, even though ad results were looking really good. We're like, well, they could probably be better if we fix conversion rate. They're at 0.75%. The average is about 1.6 and uh, the highest performers, you know, are at about 2.4%. So definitely we know we can do better. But I love this dashboard view. So I'll show you also, there's another view that, that they give you, but the dashboard view right here will give you this graph. So you can kind of see it Again, just every single one of these metrics, you'll see, first of all, a comparison against the previous period. So I'm showing you last four weeks. So how you're comparing against the previous period, which these guys had a very big downturn in ROAS. Number one, they ended up sale. And number two, they also had a lot of spam accounts starting to come out, which prompted me to make another video on this channel, actually. So it shows you a comparison in percentage versus the previous period. So it shows you, hey, you're at 3.19, you got down 46%, but the average brand actually did go down also in this period, but only 14%. So you went down a lot more than the average is what this gives you right now. The other view you have is through a benchmark like this here. You have a comparison that gives you the full spectrum. I love this trend column right here. So you see me versus peer group, right? So again, just kind of as we have right here, I just feel like it's better suited to look at this here. Here, I like that the graph, I like to see at a glance how I'm comparing against other people through the graph there. I just like to see the big bull numbers and the spectrum right here is okay. Now I know how I'm doing on the graph where I'm at on the spectrum here in terms of brands. And this really shows you, right? If it tells you you're yellow, you know, you're an average, right? When looking at a graph like this one as an example. So, okay, you know, you're average, but here it tells you how average you are. Are you slightly below average? Are you slightly above average? Where are you at within that gap? Now there's a lot of other features that I haven't activated yet, but that I had the pleasure to look through other accounts essentially to see how it looked like. One of those is media mix. What it would actually just compare your media mix. So the way you, you actually allocate your ad spend to the way your ad, the ad spend is allocated essentially to a comparable brand in your space. Executive summary is just kind of a, well, kind of says it right here. It's a summary of pretty much all of your most important metrics. And again, what I'm showing you here, very similar report for Google, similar report for TikTok, pretty much the same for LinkedIn. Shopify is slightly different. It'll just show you like conversion rate, your at the cart ratio and such. So kind of all the metrics you would have within your Shopify. So if you want to improve your funnel, you would look at Shopify. You want to improve your ads. You want to look at ads. And again, I just love using that mainly to set expectations for myself, for the brand, for our team. And second of all, looking at that right here, just being able to justify certain trends within an ad account. Luckily, I'm part of many groups and memberships and also mentorships, I'd say, where I'm with other like-minded individuals that share with me, hey, we're seeing Facebook down this week. Are you guys seeing the same thing? I usually respond, you know, yes or no. And then we kind of share data, which helps. And if you want some of this help, essentially, I highly recommend you check out our school community down below. Ask any questions about your accounts. I'll be happy to tell you, hey, yes, this is something widespread. I'm seeing the same thing on my side or no. And if you've made it all the way through the end of this video, then check out the link down below to work with us at paidadvertising.com, either with your Facebook, TikTok, or Google ads, since we're partners across all platforms. And we'd love to help you out this year. On that note, check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.